Believe me, you don't have the half of it. That's a good point. He's got a big old schnoz, he says. Now he's here. I don't need to wear this silly red thing, do I? Oh. <sighs> Whoa. What are you laughing at? What do you mean take the other one off? I'll take you outside. No, man, don't worry. Here he is, again, your Madge, your Highness, your Grace. It is always a pleasure, resplendent, glorious to see you, looking fabulous, as always. The rest of you, why not? Right, many, right. He's a sweetheart. Doesn't have a sweetheart. As a wooden, rotten harp, oh, you know. Well, I put that away. So here we are again, royal court. Court out, I say. Court trapped. Oh. Sorry, image. So many. Yeah, yeah. What kind of crowd do you think uh, do you think we've got here? Hmm, I am sure. No, you think you know. Well, you keep it to yourself, mate. Those are pretty disrespectful opinions. I know your Madge of your Majesty. Would it be too familiar? For me to call you by your first name, yeah, it would, wouldn't it? It's not, no, no. I jest, I jest. I mean, it's, it's quite literally what I do. I'm a jester. 
You didn't know. What do you think I was? Flipping Archbishop. Yeah. Well, I Many. Yeah, you. What kind of crowd do you think we have got here tonight? I ain't sure either. I ain't sure. But I tell you what. Yeah, I tell you what. I'll give you what for. Anyway, here is a joke. Manuel, here is a joke that will win them over. Guaranteed. Guaranteed success rate. Here we go. You ready? You should be. Why did the chicken cross the road? Wait, you can shut up and all. Wait, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. And you ain't heard it like this before, I swear. Why did the chicken cross the road? Sorry, I assume that one of you is going to echo Eccles cake at me. Throw it if you want. I'd love a bit. Why did the chicken cross the road? You meant? Because the chef didn't cook it long enough. Yeah, I told you. I told you. That would win them over. Wonderful, wonderful audience. Thank you, thank you. All right, all right, you ready, you match? All right, let's do something a bit more cerebral. Nah, a bit more brainy, a bit more clever, cleverer, a bit more heady. Like Anne Boleyn. Oh. Too soon. Too soon. She's not in the ground. Don't think she was put in the ground. Yeah, too soon. All right, all right. No, I jest. I jest. That's literally my occupation. And I'm afforded the privilege. The privilege of being a jester. All right, one for the people, one for the people. Did you hear about their highness, Madge, taking the country to war with France? Again, again, can you believe it? There's so much beef between us and France. It's Bonon. No, that wasn't the joke. Annie. That wasn't a joke, so no, don't worry about that one. No, no. Did you hear the match? Your Highness, Grace, etc. has taken this country that you call home to war with France. Yet again, yet again. This time over a pig's stomach. Right, what? What's a chain bag? Yeah, a pig's stomach. Pig's tummy. Well, their highness asked a French chef for pork belly, but got casus belly instead. Casus belly. Latin. No? Too cerebral then, was it? Oh no. There is all that was your head. If I didn't know any better, I'd say it was something wrong with you all. Something in your blood. Speaking of which, did you know 
their highness, God save them, is so inbred. <laughs> well, hold on, you haven't heard the joke yet. Did you know that their highness, Match, is so inbred? They're a loaf. <laughs> no? Oh, I oh, will oh, look loaf, you know. Fine. How about this? Loaf. Now, I'm not saying that they're mad. No, no, it's lazy. Of course, but the royal family tree is made out of supine. A supine. Oh, to lie down. Oh, keep, keep your pantaloons in it. Don't twist them. Oh, well, we all match. Is this really your country's subjects that don't know words, don't know basic Latin? These are your subjects. I should have studied something else. Oh, 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 oh. Look. Calm down, the lawyer. Oh, no. Let's try something else. Nah, but you match. You remember the king. Hank, Harry, Henry. The eighth. Yeah, that one. Talented. Talented man. Not only was he there by the grace of God, divinely ordained to rule this country so effectively, but uh, he, he was a massive musical talent as well. I'm not shaming him. Yeah, did you know? Did you not know that? You match, of course you knew. All right, well, he, he wrote green sleeves, didn't he? Wrote, recited, produced. Amazing. To be ordained by God, but to also be bestowed with such massive talent, all in one massive man. All right. All right. Oi, it's not treason if it's true. That just makes it true, so it's not a joke. You can laugh though, if you want. Do I have to do what I need to go? Right. So, the king, Hank, God rest his soul, God save, wrote green sleeves, yeah? But, you know how it goes do, 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 Come on, get with it. He didn't originally write it. Sacre bleu. Mon Dieu. No, it weren't French. Keep, keep calm. No, he didn't originally write it. It was written by, by one of his wives. Don't remember which one. Don't think he would either. I can't remember them all, can you? To think what happened to the country due to that. Oh, and anyway, it was written by one of his wives after a particularly lackluster night in the royal chambers. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. All right. I'll keep it on you. Pole. No, no, it was uh, written by one of his wives after a particularly unsatisfying night of love making or not, I suppose. Yeah, it was originally just called Please Leave. Well, please leave, like green sleeves. Bit close to the bone, was it? 
well, from what I hear, more of a flaccid dead worm, but all right. There was too much. Yeah, I know. There's true son and there is treason. I'll go to hell. Don't worry about it. Paid in full. Royal privilege. All right. All right, Manny, I'm doing it. Anyway, anyway. All right. Speaking of music. Let's carry on. Speaking of music. All right, I stole this one from a bard in a pub. But it's all right because I didn't like him. That's not, the, that's not a joke, that's true. Anyway, here's the gag. I don't think he even thought it was a joke, to be honest. So, did you hear that the clergy... Oh wait, what are we, what are we now? Catholic or Protestant or what? We knocked down all the monasteries. What, what, what was that for? Oh, just for my... Anyway. I'll leave that one alone. The clergy have been at it. Yeah, again. All right, calm down outside. Can you believe it? You're smart. Clergy have been at it again. As you probably know, not so long back, they banned the use of minor chords in music. It's true. It's true. They banned the use of minor chords in music. Why? Because sad chords, it's, it's the devil's sound. You know, no more minor chords in music. Still, it wouldn't be the first time that a priest has meddled with a minor, would it? Oh no. Oh no, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble for that one. Sorry, your match. It's your clergy. You chose them, didn't you? Always forget how it works. They change the rules all the time. All right, Manny. Put a sock in it. Put a sock on you. Fresh start. Pleased to meet you. Thank you for coming. All right, let's try again. A different job this time. I promise this one's a little less uh, offensive. <laughs> this one, well, we're talking about bards. I don't like them. But I do like the bard, Will. Same name as me. So a good name, right? Yeah. Madge is fond of him. He's a character. Yes. Of course he spits on the sort of stuff I do, but whatever, mate. Whoever pays the bills. Oh, he's quite poor. He'll do better for way. Anyway, did you know that before he were a playwright, Will Shakespeare was a doctor, honey. A doctor. William Shakespeare was a doctor. Did you know that? Did you? Yeah, he got struck off though. Yeah. Do you know why? He misdiagnosed a patient. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't believe it. He couldn't work out if it was TB or not TB. I saw you laugh. You liked that one. And you. And you, Madge. I oh, saw so you have a little secret giggle. That sort of giggle, you go into the privy because you don't want anyone to see because you've just seen something a little, uh, well, what shall we say, um, uninspiring. You have to have a secret giggle, don't you? You've got to laugh. I jest, of course. It's my job. I jest. I think we've done it, aren't we? I'm done, for sure. Don't think I can come back from that one. The one before, or any of them, really. But never mind. It's just my life, you know. Why did the chicken cross the road? Don't know, don't speak chicken. 
Yeah, it's a shame to end on that one, wouldn't it? I'll do a bit of juggling in a minute to help you relax, because that's what I do. But um, thank you. You've been a terrible audience. Apart from you, you match. Love you. Long live you. Long live you. Long live you. Maybe, you know, a bit further away from me, though, because the, uh, the ginger vials. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to go, look. You've been absolutely shy, but if you enjoyed the show, my name's Will. Will Jester. And Will Jest for coin, so, you know, keep that in mind. If you didn't enjoy the show, I'm the King of France. Oh, thank you ever so much. All right, Manny. I've got to find my balls. Yeah, I know, mate. What's he like? Here we are. Found them. I hope they... I hope they... I hope they work. What's that about? I hope they work. Where's Manny gone? I should tell him about that. He'd love that. Ah, oh, he's already gone. Never mind. Right, you want to see some juggling and some fooling? It's what you fucking came for, isn't it? All right, let's do it. One, two, three. It's difficult. Yeah.